Hey everybody and welcome to this five minute tech tip. We're going to be talking about some if in Excel. Very exciting. Uh, so as you know, um, if statements and if functions, they are logical functions based off of a certain condition. So we want to know based on this file that we see here, based on the certain condition of region, we want to be able to add up what each of the respective regions have in their current year so we can add those up I can certainly do that manually and I can add them up and say okay well I see West here I see West here let's add these up okay I also see another West down here we can add that up but that could be very tedious and very laborious and um, it can take a lot of time so we probably don't want to do that we want to have Excel do that for us man excuse me automatically we don't want to do it manually so let me just show you what this looks like it's always good to kind of see the finished product we scroll down a little bit here we want to see here this formula we start off with this equal sign sum if and when i click on it we'll see this nice little cheat sheet that pops up and we're looking at the range like in what range are we looking at here so we want to see all of a6 through e22 that's where my information is coming from all right but it's also asking me well what is the criteria okay because remember some if we're saying if what oh okay if there's an east in there because notice we're in the east section i'd like it to do what i want to sum up the the respected part respective part that goes with east so you can see here there's a number session section here that correlates with the criteria that i'm trying to add up so it's basically saying hey within this range find east and then what numbers should I add up that correlates and the coordinates with my uh, criteria that I put in here, which is going to be east. So let me just go ahead and do it for another one so we can see how this is going to look like. So let me just go ahead and get out of that. I'm going to do it for north this time. I'm going to say equal sign sum if. I'm going to hit tab. It's a range and I'm going to look in all of this data here. So I highlight everything so it knows where to look. Scroll down, hit comma, and notice my cheat sheet pops up here. So, well, what is my criteria? In this case, putting in quotes, I'm going to say north. And notice it's not case sensitive. Pretty neat there. And hit comma to go to the next part of the equation. You can see some range. What am I adding up? Sales prior year. Okay, so I just want to tell it, look inside of this range so it knows what to sum up All right so i close that out and then you'll also notice how it says sales prior in a previous video i showed um, about named ranges so i'll show you these in one more time so let me just go ahead and get out of that you can see seventy thousand. so if we add up all of the norths 15 plus 16 plus 4500 plus 28,000. okay that comes out to 70,000. So it's done all the work for me. Okay, so let's just take a look at that one more time. Sum if it's looking in this entire range of data and says, okay, well, what am I looking for? What's the criteria? Looking for the word north. And then where, in terms of any numbers, should it be adding up? What am I summing up? What number? And it just correlates to this north criteria. The south region, I'm going to do it a slightly different way just so I can show you how named ranges work. Definitely a valuable tool to know about. So this I'm going to say again, sum if, close it out. My range, once again, highlight all that. And that could be a named range as well. Basically, I want to encapsulate that whole group and give it a name, just like I did for the sales prior. My criteria is going to be south. My sum range, what I'm going to do this time, rather than highlighting everything, I'm going to say, just sales and notice what shows up there. It's going to be sales prior. I'm going to hit tab that closes it out and now close that out. I'll do it one more time. I'll do it a little faster so you can see how great this can be. And actually, let me do this a little bit differently. I'm going to show you how we can make a named range. I'm going to highlight everything right here and I'm going to make the name range. I'm going to go over to here. I'm going to call this all underscore sales. And then this time, watch as I use nothing but name ranges here. Equal sign, 
some if, and this time we're gonna say all, and then notice how it just pops up. So I'm gonna hit tab, criteria, west, and then this again, it's gonna be sales, and then prior, close it out. Fantastic, that's done. And you'll see here, all of my named ranges live in this area here. And if you wanna go a step deeper, I'll do a whole lesson on this in the future, but you can see here under formulas, there is a name manager and you can see all of the name ranges that you've created. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful uh, working with sum if. In a previous lesson, you see how we did count if. In the future, we'll go ahead and do on average if. And we also did a nice review of named ranges. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions or requests, please uh, put them through the YouTube channel or through my LinkedIn page, or you can check us out on sftechtraining.com. You can email me through there if you like. All right, thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.